If you have used a GPS or own technology equipped with Siri or Cortana, you're probably familiar with voice synthesizers. In addition to these practical uses, voice synthesizer software has also been used in recent years to create music. One of the lead innovators in vocal synthesizing music is Krypton Future Media. In this video, we look at how a single company revolutionized the music industry through the creation of a virtual pop star sensation. Krypton Future Media is a software and media company based in Sapporo, Japan, founded in 1995. This technology company develops, imports, and sells various diverse music-based products. These products include sound generator software, sampling CDs and DVDs, and sound effect and background music libraries. Krypton is best known for its vocal synthesizers. Speech synthesis is the artificial production of human speech. The computer system used for this purpose is called a vocal or a speech synthesizer. Synthesized speech can be created by putting together pieces of recorded audio that are then stored in a database. The company's team philosophy is based on, quote, expressing ideas with sound, end quote, and they strongly believe in their mission to develop new sounds for the future world of music. A large part of Krypton Future Media is its Vocaloids. Vocaloid is a well-known voice synthesizer software used mostly for singing. Krypton released its first Vocaloid in 2007, giving her a female pronoun and saying that she is, quote, an android diva in the near future world where songs are lost, end quote. This Vocaloid was named Hatsune Miku, and soon she became the most popular presence in the Vocaloid community. She is presented as being 16 years old, 5'2", and 92 pounds. Since Miku's creation, Krypton has created a number of Vocaloids with different images, such as twins Kagamine Len and Rin, a woman named Maringure Luka, and a tall blue man named Kaito. But none of these have truly come as close to the original success. Hatsune Miku is not a real person. She is a visual hologram. Krypton went beyond simply creating a voice. They created a virtual singing pop star. In an article written by Ka Lan Yam, Miku is described as the avatar icon of a music creation technology that combines real voices with computer synthesized speech. Not only does Miku sing, she performs her songs at concerts around the world. Hatsune Miku appears on stage in the form of a hologram. This hologram is programmed to dance, move around the stage, and mouth along to the words from her synthesized songs. For many concerts, the instrumentals for Miku's songs are played by a live band. This pairs the fantasy of the Vocaloid with tangible real-life elements, making the concerts a full sensory experience. The concerts for Hatsune Miku are very popular, especially with Japan's youth. In 2013, with Vocaloid 3, Krypton released an English vocal library. Hasune Miku started as a vocal synthesizer product and today is, in Krypton's own words, quote, a beloved collaboratively constructed cyber celebrity with a growing user community across the world, end quote. She is often referred to as a global icon or a, quote, hub because the whole idea of using this software is to feel free and even be encouraged to produce and share Miku-related songs and videos. Krypton Future Media is so revolutionary as a company because it is, as they say themselves, the sound of the future. Krypton not only uses vocal synthesizer software to create cute personas,
it has mastered how to market them. In fact, Krypton makes much of its profits selling merchandise. This merchandise includes things such as hats, t-shirts, and Vocaloid figurines. As it states on Krypton's website, quote, with the increase of remix works and the steadily growing global demands, Krypton Future Media Incorporated engages consciously in the promotion, support, and cultivation of the Hatsune Miku community, end quote. They have done so by creating platforms in which fans and content creators can engage with their available vocal synthesizing software. Piapro.net, a consumer-focused media platform where users can collaborate and share their ideas, and the user-focused digital label Carrot were opened as web services for fan use. In 2012, Krypton decided to adapt, quote, Creative Commons license, CC by NC, to the original illustrations of Hatsune Miku to support open creative activities all over the world, end quote. Krypton stays relevant and popular because there are so many unique ways users can utilize the technology. Krypton allows fans to have complete and easy access to their synthesizing software. Their software is available for sale on their website and often has discounts that make it even more accessible for fans who wish to create songs with the voices of their favorite Vocaloids. Each of the Krypton Vocaloids have their vocal synthesizers available on the piapro.net website for download. Fans generate a lot of their own content, so Vocaloid popularity doesn't ever die out. There have been over 170,000 videos uploaded to YouTube featuring Miku and over 1 million Miku-inspired artworks posted online. Miku has over 900,000 fans on Facebook and, appearing as a hologram, she has performed in many completely sold-out 3D concerts worldwide with notable performances in L.A., Taipei, Hong Kong, Singapore, and Tokyo. Krypton has had successful corporate collaborations with SEGA, Toyota, Google, and many other giant companies. While there exist other Vocaloid music personas created by separate music companies, none hold a candle to the global phenomenon that is Hatsune Miku and her troupe of related Vocaloids, Kagamini Lennon Rin, Mringure Luka, and Kaito. What makes Krypton Future Media so revolutionary as a company is how it created a beloved idol who could, theoretically, last forever. After all, she is not human and therefore cannot die or have scandals like many of our human artists. Krypton's marketing and sharing of its resources have led Miku to musical success. The Vocaloid has many songs listed as collaborations with other artists, and there are various fan-made Miku songs throughout YouTube, Spotify, and other music streaming platforms. As you can see, thousands of people genuinely care about and are invested in this technology. Vocaloid popularity also reaches social media platforms. Take, for example, Miku Monday on Twitter, where individuals share their fan-made Miku content under the Miku Monday hashtag. A quick Hatsune Miku search on any search engine yields thousands upon thousands of results, further proving the Vocaloid's incredible social impact. On Krypton's website, they describe Hatsune Miku as a singing voice synthesizer featured in over 100,000 songs released worldwide. And they inform us that Hatsune Miku means the first sound from the future. Whether or not you enjoy this type of music, it's impossible to deny that Hatsune Miku and Krypton Future Media's various other Vocaloids are an amazing, unique, and futuristic invention.